Hi everyone, let's go through my low time frame and medium time frame bullish and bearish Elliott wave scenarios on Bitcoin. Starting with the low time frame impulsive scenario, which can be both bullish and bearish, as this can be a wave one, two, four, then a bigger three, or this can be a wave C for then more downside to come. And in this video, we will talk about both of these scenarios and give some probabilities. But in this impulsive scenario, we are still looking for a wave five towards the upside, as price is then currently ranging inside a complex wave four. Now, what is good to know is that. The wave 4 of a higher degree usually retraces to the wave 4 of a lower degree which is the wave 4 over here that is part of this wave 3 to the upside now as you can see price already hit this area the lower degree wave 4 also bouncing on the 0 0.236 but the maximum target for this wave 4 at the moment is the low of the lower degree wave 4 at 29.5k so price could wick this low over here close above and then move to the upside that can also give a potential swing failure trade by the way where the entry is then the close above stop loss below the wick looking for upside but that is the maximum target for basically this wave four in blue for then the wave five to the upside What's interesting about the target area for the wave 5 to the upside is the most common target area over here, the 1.236 to the 1.618 pulled from the high of 3 to the current low of wave 4 is in very nice confluence with some highs that we made in a range in 2022. So there is some liquidity resting over here around the 32k, 32.4k, uh, 32.7k 32 area for maybe then a liquidity grab and a continuation towards the downside which can give a swing failure pattern trade price moving above the highs grabbing the liquidity then closing below and then eventually continuing to the downside where the close is then the entry stop loss above the high moving to the downside of course no financial advice you need your own plan and your own strategy now in this particular scenario if price moves to the upside towards these 2022 range highs on very high volume higher than we had in this wave three then this scenario is always going to be invalidated because for a wave five you want to see lower volume than wave three so we have a wave three with high volume and for wave five you want to see price move to the upside but then volume being lower then in a wave three however if price is going to move to the upside with volume impulsively kicking towards the upside as well equal or higher than we had in wave three that's not what you want to see and that of course invalidates this potential scenario now if we then look towards the downside after this wave five would be in it depends on do we get a three wave structure or are we going to move down impulsively and this is the difference between the bullish and the bearish medium time frame scenarios because if i open the bearish medium time frame scenario then we're looking at an abc expanding flat so over here we then have a three wave in an a followed by a three wave in a wave b which by itself is then an expanding flat in a three three five wave structure for then a wave c towards the downside now the expanding flat wave b most common target area is between the 1.236 and the 1.382 pulled from the high 31k over here to the low of wave a which again is in perfect confluence with the 2022 range high so this is such an interesting area for price but what is important is that in this scenario price should move towards the upside first we don't want to see price first move to 27k and then up then this doesn't work anymore this is invalidated same with this scenario if price is first moving to the downside 27k and then up this over here is invalidated as well so you want to see price maybe a bit more downside that's fine but then move towards the upside for this potential wave b high and then move to the downside in a wave c and this scenario was yesterday in the group shared by jmo and actually got his uh, chart over here five wave move to the upside and then over here looking for an a b c now his wave a over here does have to move to the left side which i told him as well because wave b has to be a three wave structure so this wave a cannot be over here as this is an impulse to the upside and you always want to see a three wave structure in a wave b so it looks better if this wave a goes to the left and then we have an expanding flat three three five wave move in wave b which is then a three wave structure that's what you want to see and then he said yeah okay the horizontal line over here that's the range highs for maybe a liquidity grab and a move towards the downside and i agree and i actually didn't share this scenario this being an abc i did have the uh, expanding flat like the order not the expanding flat but the wxy scenario in an awxy which gives the same result but an abc has a more interesting target up here so yeah thanks uh, jmo for sharing that in the group as well and uh, yeah this is a very interesting scenario where in this scenario we expect a five wave move to the downside so if price would take these highs 
Price can also still wick above, but you want to see price close, preferably in the wave peak target area. If price moves to the downside in an impulsive structure, like a five wave move, then keep in mind newer lows are on the cards for potentially a wave C. And targets that are going to be interesting is also the blue target box down here, which is between 22.6k and 21.8k. And what's also interesting is that it fakes out a lot of people that might think, hey, we're going to go back for, you know, higher highs to be made because of this impulsive structure but instead price moves to the downside triggers all the stop losses also the people that put their stop loss down here for then a wave c and then move up towards the upside as we then have an expanding flat abc and then we fire for new highs to be made in a more bullish scenario you want to see a three wave structure to the downside so we're then looking for the end of a wave one and then this wave two is a three wave move another five wave move and that is what you have to pay attention to in this scenario if price is going to move towards these highs is it coming down in a five wave structure or in a three wave structure if it is a three wave structure we're looking for a wave two where then you expect a three wave move to the downside finding support price going back towards the upside yeah then okay we're looking for a one two and then a bigger three to the upside where if wave three starts you want to see volume increasing as well but if price is going to move down in a five wave structure on high volume then a wave c is definitely something you want to keep in mind so these are the two medium time frame scenarios where I think that this being a wave C, and I spoke about it more earlier, how brilliant would it be for price to move towards the downside one more time and then move towards the upside, which would also work with my high time frame scenario shared in the macro and high time frame video yesterday, right? So that is definitely something I'm looking for, but as it stands now, in this scenario we first have to wait and see if price can make it to this area first not first down and then up but first going to the upside and then we observe the reaction then we look how price is going to move to the downside and depending on how price moves to the downside we can then say okay this might be a wave c or this is a one two and then a wave three to the upside if we look at the local CVD divergences, always important, the local CVD divergences. We do have some bullish CVD divergences. The bearish ones here already played out. We also had some bullish ones over here that also played out, by the way, taking this high with this high over here but we have some uh, higher time frame over here or high time frame 30 minute bullish divergences higher low in price lower low on the cvd but i prefer always prefer to see local cvd divergences they always get priority and if we then zoom in then yeah from this low that we made higher lows on price lower low on the yellow as well as the blue cvd but this already played out so there are no as it stands bullish cvd divergences on the lower time frame we only then have these ones potentially over here higher low in price lower low on yellow and on the blue cvd which is a bullish divergence where the target is then this high which would be very interesting if this is still a potential way for right wave four and then a wave five where you want to see wave five take this high so these bullish divergences have the target this high over here but i prefer to see maybe some more local dvd uh, uh, cvd divergences but of course we already had them but that was in the middle of my night so yeah of course i can't trade any of this so maybe another move retracement up or keep in mind that also it's still valid for price to find more downside to go towards this low at 29.5k a very important level indeed finally the news we have some news but that's tomorrow wednesday 3 30 p.m high impact news so trade safe around these times and for now thanks for watching this video came online later because i recorded without sound first <laughs> unfortunately but i hope this video was helpful or valuable check out the most interesting video i think on my channel which is the channel uh, the video about cvd uh, which is the best trading indicator you can use and for now thanks for watching and subscribing and i'll see you in the next one bye bye